Elba's a small town in the Wiregrass. We have about 4,000 residents in our city. Um, it's a very low income population, so that brings a lot of challenges. Just since I've been alive, we've, we've been through two floods. Um, have seen the courthouse underwater, all the downtown area underwater. The river, which of course brought that flooding to Elba, is also one of the greatest resources that we have. Actually, the name Restoration 154 is named after the Pea River. It's 154 miles long, and so the, um, the idea behind Restoration 154 is to do a project for every mile of the river. The theater coming up for sale was kind of the start. Uh, Philip and I had talked before about how neat it would be to get that building and do something with it. And so we, we said, well, while we're talking about the theater and trying to get it going, let's talk about this river project as well, and maybe we can Maybe we can just make this bigger than the theater. We're up to about seven or eight projects now, and um, we have a long way to go, so it may outlive us. Well, we have Pea River Outdoors, which has actually brought in a lot of tourism to our area. Um, in the past, oh, we really didn't have a tourism industry, but now every weekend and now even throughout the week, we're um, hosting people that come here to actually travel down the Pea River. Um, we have kayak, canoe, paddleboard rentals. Um, we provide them with life jackets and paddles and they take the 9.4 mile trip down the river. The Giving Garden is uh, a project that we, we did in collaboration with the Elba Ministerial Alliance um, to help bring fresh produce to the food bank. That one's really brought in a diverse group of people to me and then also it's serving you know, the lower income people so um, I think a lot of them are real appreciative of the work that's going on there. And that has been a, a great project as far as community involvement goes. It has really shown you know, how many um, people are willing to get out there and work and you know, they're just looking for an outlet um, of service and that has been a great outlet. But we kind of look at it now as more of a, a broader thing, you know, as, you know, how do we restore anything that needs restoring, whether it's just quality of life or, or a specific building or, you know, a, a wall. <laughs> you know, we're trying to identify different walls around to, to kind of spruce up. Um, there's some other smaller projects. We have Pop 154, which is the fresh frozen fruit popsicles. And we have foul food concessions. You know, some of the projects, like the concession stand projects, more fundraising for us. And some of them, like the Giving Garden, is is really just looking at an immediate need in the community and trying to meet meet that need. There's so many people in the community that, that want to help with things and that sometimes just need a little guidance on what is out there to help on. I really feel like the goal of Restoration 154 is to have a significant and positive impact on our community.